it was it was very overwhelming. I was working a ton of hours. I was getting paid per session. Uh, sometimes having to track down money that that parents hadn't paid me yet. Um, and so it was just it was just draining, and you know it just became a hassle. So I I I got a full time job during the day. So that's kind of why my business was at a standstill. But ultimately, this is this is what I love to do. I seeked out Ben. Um, and now that I've been working with Ben, my, my, my business actually feels like a business. Um, I'm very organized. Um, I have my finances laid out. It's a membership type of, of, of environment now rather than a paper session. Everyone pays monthly. Um, and that just takes a lot of stress off of me because now I don't have to worry about the money. I can show up, train, do what I love to do, help these kids and not have to focus on that. And that just takes a lot of pressure off. Um, One of the biggest reasons why coaches fail in this industry is because what they say does not align with their actions. And I'm going to show you how I earned five clients in one day because one of my competitors did not live up to what he was telling his clients, right? And I have a lot of satisfaction telling the story. I see though that a lot of coaches, they say things and then they don't back it up. So they might tell their clients, hey, we'll, we'll have our session tomorrow at five and then they'll show up like a little bit late or they'll show up uh, maybe a little bit early and you know, then they have to go back to their car and get something or, or they forgot something, they have to go home or they're just not mentally prepared to, to run the session. And back in 2015, 2015, 2016, I'll never forget this. I was out running a clinic and back then I would run clinics like, I mean, pretty much almost every weekend I would run clinics and I'd have other coaches that were working for me. They would run clinics and we were running clinics all over the place. And I was running the clinic and I remember like right when we started, I, I looked over to the other side of the park and I saw there were like, there was like around five kids with their parents and they were like, just like, it looked like they were waiting for someone. And uh, I remember just thinking, well, normally out on Saturdays, normally there was like nobody there at the park. Like, and I was always out there doing my thing and I would never see any other trainers out there. So I was thinking, well, maybe they, they're uh, gonna meet up with someone. And <clears throat> Like we run our first half hour of the clinic and I remember it was funny. I remember looking over and, and just the parents were just like staring at what we were doing because what we were doing, I mean, the kids were working really, really hard and they could tell how professional the session was. <laughs> and I remember just thinking like, why are they still sitting there? Like they're, they're, they've been sitting there for like half an hour and their kids weren't doing anything. And we were taking a water break <clears throat> and one of the parents like <clears throat> ran over, started talking to me and I was like, Hey, I'm running this clinic right now. I can't talk to you for more than 10 seconds, but let me have your phone number and let me give you a call later today and I'll see how I can help. And that was it. So I got one parent's phone number and uh, he went back and I went back to finish my session and I did exactly what I told him I was gonna do. I gave him a call later that day. And what he told me was, that was the fourth time in a row that they went out to the park where the trainer that they were supposed to work with did not show up. Like, he flat out did not show up four times in a row. And I asked him you know, who the guy was, and this guy was actually a competitor of mine, a really busy guy, and I was thinking about it and I was like, man, you know, I'm on a call with his clients right now. And the only reason why I'm on a call with his clients is he didn't do his job. He didn't deliver on what he said he was going to do. And here's, here's the, the thing that's pretty crazy. And I'm thinking in two terms here, financially, like what happened after that for my business. Um, and then I also think of how, the, how different it is for the customer once they join my program, all right? And, and one of the things that uh, I was telling the parent over the, over the initial call, I was like, yeah, like, you know, I'm sorry that if, if he's too busy, if he's not making, making it to the sessions, like, 
you guys won't get the help that you need, right? And he was like, yes. And I was like, well, come to our next clinic. And uh, let me give you a registration link. And do you want to share the link with the other four parents? He was like, I'd be happy to. I said, great. So the clinics that I ran were, they were 50 bucks, right? So I knew that if they, if they all came to a clinic, based on how, how I operate my clinic, I was like, well, if, if they're going from waiting for an hour, four weeks in a row for a trainer to doing what we're doing it is going to be, it's going to feel completely different, <laughs> right? There's, there's zero comparison there. And though you take five times 50, that's $250 of earned income because this trainer did not show up, right? And so when they came, they, they all loved the session. And then I got on individual calls with those five parents and I sold them my program and I put them all in a group, right? Now I had them sign up for a 12 month program, right? And I'm, I'm gonna run the numbers here with you so you can see this, all right? There were five kids and back then I was charging, it was 250, I looked at their subscription, uh, it was 250 per month. So if you take 250, times 12, that's $3,000, all right? So if I had to take 250, all right, that's how much one parent's paying, times 12. That's 3K, all right, $3,000, one client that's paying over the, they're, they're on a subscription, all right? Now we take <coughs> 3,000 times five clients, that's 15 grand. All right, let me put that there for you so you can see it. All right, so because that that one guy was late, all right, that earned my business the, the following year 15 grand. Now that wasn't even included the amount of money that they also spent on the additional camps and clinics that I ran that year. So 15 grand is, is on the low end, all right? And again, because one person screwed up, he did not deliver on his word, I was rewarded because I was doing things the correct way. And here's how this relates to you. If you have a bad first impression with a prospect or a client, they are not going to stay with you. If you are doing a good job and you have high expectations and you're just like, you literally follow through with the things that you say, you're going to do very well in this business, right? That was a $15,000 per year mistake from that coach that he just gifted over to me, all right? Now, those kids stayed in my program for four years, all right? So let me show you something, all right? That right there, 60 grand, is the minimum that I earned because those kids came to so many camps and clinics, um, and they also, those families referred so many new families into our program over that period of time. So they became a loyal customer of mine because of someone else's mistake. So this is why I am very blunt about this. If you do a really good job in your business, you pick up other, like you like coaches that are in your area, you pick up their clients when you do a really good job because they're not following through with their word. They don't show up on time. They're lazy. They don't care. And this is why I feel like it's really easy to succeed if you're just different, if you just do things better, right? And following through with your word is what separates you oftentimes from other coaches that are in your area that do a bad job, right? And that's where you can really capitalize, right? You did not hear me in this video say, I stole this guy's clients. No, like they came with me. They, they ran over to me in the middle of my clinic, right? That was their doing, right? I was smart, I just got a phone number and I said I'd call them and I did, right? And that resulted in a lot of income in my business from somebody else's mistake. So why am I telling this? Well, it's because I don't want you to make the same mistake that that guy did. Because if you do, you're going to lose clients that could be committed to your program for multiple years, right? And if you're the guy who's kind of like me, where it's like you're just trying to do a good job and you have a, a good service and you deliver on what you say, then you'll always pick up those types of clients that are being screwed over by coaches that that suck. Right? That's just that's just how it is, right? I hope this video helps you and I had to go deep into the story to clarify, you know, how committed these clients were to me once they uh, linked up with, in, in my program. And again, it was, just, it was easy. It was like, I just had them come to a clinic. They liked it. And then I sold them more things that were beneficial to their kids. And guess what? 
when, like, when they signed up for our program, <coughs> didn't miss one session with them. It's always there early. That was something that they wanted. They, they did not have that from the other coach. All right, so I just had to do the opposite. So I hope this helps. If these types of videos are helping you right now, it would be really good if you take the like 10 seconds and just send me a text message at this number and say, hey Ben, I really like the content you're putting out or ask me any questions there via text. Um, and you can also message me on Instagram. Like I'm pretty active on Instagram uh, at this point. We post stories all the time uh, from coaches that we work with. I'm posting results, I'm posting content, I'm posting tips. There's a lot that we do on Instagram. And you can see my handle, I'll pop it up here on the screen. Uh, feel free, follow me there, connect with me there. Uh, and if you wanna connect with me personally, just shoot me a text. All right, that's it. Hope this video helped you and uh, let's keep growing your business. I'll tell you from then until now, it's just night and day of, of how it's run and, and how I feel doing what I'm doing. And it's just opened a whole new window of opportunity of, of what I can see growth for my company. And I'm just really excited to continue. And I thank Ben for all that he's done. And I hope you guys find the same help that I've had. Thank you.